Hi, my name is Mike with Gans Techs, and today we are going to review the Gigabyte Ultra Durable 78LMT USB 3 motherboard. There's the box. There we go. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open the box and see what all is in it. Um, of course, if you build your own computers, of course, you know what's in it. But uh, we're going to go ahead and, you know, for those that don't, uh, this is the uh, motherboard we're going to utilize on the next video to uh, help build your own system. Um, the Gigabyte Ultra Durable 78 LMT comes with, of course, the uh, system software for the motherboard. Um, it also includes your SATA cords, has two of them, uh, pretty color blue. Uh, you've got your IDE ribbon cable. I have no clue why they still include these. Everything is pretty much SATA nowadays. So um, we also have your user manual. Yay, user manual. If you have to, you, you know, take the time to read it, the uh, user manual, then maybe you should, you know, pay very close attention to this video. Uh, actually, our next video that we uh, we're going to make, uh, building your own system. Uh, one thing we do, we use the Gigabyte. Uh, motherboards in our shop when we build uh, our I guess we uh, call it uh, mid-end uh, systems um, because and, and the reason I call them you know the middle is because you can actually utilize them for gaming you know not the best of the best but uh, you can also utilize them for you know office use basic office use and due to the fact of the pricing um, you know, these boards usually run around $100, $120, depending on, you know, if you uh, catch them on sale or with a processor bundle. Um, this board is for an AM3 Plus processor, um, which later on when we build a system, um, you'll get to uh, see uh, about the uh, processors. Um, this is the back of the box. I don't know. Let me see if you guys... It basically just depicts all the, uh, you know, uh, the special features like the dual BIOS, uh, the humidity protection, electrostatic protection, uh, power failure protection, high temp protection. Um, you know, I, when they say ultra durable, uh, they mean durable, especially uh, here in the uh, middle of the United States. We have storms, fire failures, etc., etc., and uh, these motherboards have solid capacitors and solid capacitors can can take electrostatic hits they can take they're more durable than uh, the old time here i have one the old time capacitors that they used to put on the boards now so but i'll show you what the uh, solid ones look like um the board comes in a electrostatic bag i'll go ahead and take it out of the bag what we have here is basically the side view. Um, you've got your uh, sound outputs. Uh, you've got your USB 2s, your NIC card, your USB 3s, which is great on this board. Your HDMI output does have a built-in video card. Your DVI output, VGA, and then you've got a dual PS2 right here in case you have an old mouse that uh, still utilizes. Or keyboard PS2 when I say dual it'll take either one um, and then of course you know for your uh, uh, you know newer mice and keyboards that now utilize the USB um, you've got uh, two slots right there for them. the board itself has uh, some nice features and, and again, I'm bringing up the solid capacitors. The whole board includes solid capacitors on it. This is what makes it ultra durable. Um, and again, we'll, we'll go into the building phase and we'll explain more about the solid capacitors. You got some heat sinks. Um, four slots for memory. We... Uh, have six SATA connectors. You've got four on this side and then you've got two more on this side. 
And then of course you have your external USB connectors. Uh, you've got your uh, USB 3 for your case. Um, other than that, these boards are, are built pretty simple. Uh, there's really um, not much to them. Um, again, this is a hundred and some dollar board. I mean, we're not talking about, you know, any saber tooth boards, you know, three, four hundred dollar board. Um, but this is built for the uh, AM3 Plus. And uh, now the board does have, as I uh, depicted earlier, a built on built in sound, built in NIC card, and it does have built on uh, video. But you can utilize the uh, uh, IDE. Uh, IDE. That's not what I meant. Uh, you can utilize the PCI Express card to, to put your own uh, uh, video card in. <laughs> it still kind of kills me that they still put IDE connectors on here. Um, other than that, uh, as far as you know, what you're paying for this board, uh, you're 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 in the mid range of of quality. Um, you can of course spend another hundred, another hundred, another hundred, and end up in a gaming machine. But this board is good enough for uh, your basic office use, your basic um, uh, mid range gaming, and your everyday use. So. My name is Mike with Cans Techs, and today we are going to review the Gigabyte and the trains coming by. Hi, my name is Mike, and today we will be reviewing the Gigabyte motherboard. <laughs> you started laughing. 